and welcome to The Crafty Jedi. This is a brand new YouTube channel where I talk about all things Star Wars while enjoying a different craft beer each video. So the basic premise of this channel is I will be having a craft beer, I'll be telling you about it, I will be rating the beer, uh, I'll be recommending it if it's good, uh, and I'll also be talking about everything Star Wars, everything that's happening in the Star Wars world. We're in a very exciting time for Star Wars at the minute. We've got a bunch of shows coming out. Um, and yeah, they're basically my two biggest passions, beer and Star Wars. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to combine them, I'm going to try and make a community of like-minded people um, and just jump into it because doing things that you're passionate about and you enjoy is the best thing for your mental health and it's great just to do to enjoy life. So yeah, we're going to get straight into this video uh, and I have picked a great beer to start this series, this channel off with. We have here a Wolf Rock IPA, and this is from the Sharps Brewery. I have actually had this beer before. I've had it on tap in a bar. I don't, this was quite a few years ago now, so I don't remember what it was like, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, it's described as a red IPA, which is really cool. Um, it's cool because IPAs, as you know, are normally a golden color, as is most beer. Um, so yes, this beer is described as tasting full ripe sweetness with a citrus hint. Um, the finish is roasted berry fruit uh, and the aroma is ripe fruit, roasted malt and spicy. Oh, damn, spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. So yeah, let's get into this and try a nice spicy beer. <laughs> There you go, it's very, very dark for an IPA. Uh, and at first taste, it actually doesn't taste very much like an IPA. It tastes more of like a, kind of like a fizzy bitter. It's a very dark ale and it definitely tastes it. Also, appreciate the Stormtrooper glass. But yeah, really enjoyable, really nice. I'm a big fan of dark ales anyway. So, it is weird because it's kind of, it is like an IPA, but it's also like a real ale. So, yeah, Wolf Rock. A dark IPA. You feel like it's like the best of both worlds. It's like a if you're a bit into your real ales, but you also like the fruitiness of an IPA. Um, that's kind of your drink. So yeah. Anyway, onto the Star Wars part now of the video. So I just wanted to touch really on Kenobi. Kenobi. Because that is where all the hype is at the minute. And for me personally, when Disney said they were going to drop a load of shows on us, Kenobi was the one thing that I was looking forward to out of everything. I mean, obviously I was looking forward to everything, but Kenobi was the one that I was most excited for because um, I grew up with the prequels. I think Revenge of the Sith came out when I was about five or six or four, something like that. So. I got into Star Wars at a very, very young age. I probably got into it when I was about five, when all like, the hype of Revenge of the Sith was was happening. Uh, so I watched the originals, um, and then I got straight into the prequels. And obviously, as a kid, the, the prequels are so attractive to you. You've got characters like Jar Jar Binks, uh, all the CGI. Like it, even though I'm looking back now, it does look dated, especially in the Phantom Menace. But it, as a child, it's mind blowing and it's the coolest thing I ever saw and still to this day it's had such a long lasting impact on me that now uh, I'm in my 20s and I am one of the biggest Star Wars fans I know. Um, so yeah, that's why Kenobi for me has been what I've been most excited for because Obi-Wan Kenobi is one of the main characters, he's like one of the coolest characters in the prequels. He always manages to keep his cool, he always has like a cool jokey line um, and he's Badass, he's so powerful. Um, and yeah, obviously the end of Revenge of the Sith is so tragic and so heartbreaking. And then the only thing we get after that is a new hope. It's like, what happened in that gap? I genuinely do want to know. I mean, I know there's books and comics, but it doesn't match to seeing it in live action. So yeah, Kenobi, 25th of May. That's like just about two months away. Um, it's gonna be a long two months but I am so excited. Also, Obi-Wan Kenobi is uh, the the most, the drunkest Jedi. He, whenever trouble arises, he always has a drink in his hand, so I can relate to my man Kenobi there. I also want to touch on a lot of the hate that um, Kenobi's getting at the minute because the trailer just dropped and it looks amazing. It looks fantastic. I am so, so hyped after seeing the trailer. Uh, we got to see the Inquisitors, we got to see the Grand Inquisitor, 
Um, Darth Vader, right at the end of the trailer, we heard his breathing. We got to see a lot a young Luke Skywalker. Uh, oh, it's just, it's literally everything I've dreamed of since I was like super young. So, uh, yeah, the hate towards specifically the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, yeah, I completely understand. So we have seen the race that he is before. I can't quite remember what it is, uh, what he's called, his race. But we have seen that in live action. We saw it in Revenge of the Sith when Obi-Wan went to Utapau. We saw them. We saw that race. And now they brought out the Grand Inquisitor, who is the same race as the people we saw in live action. And he looks nothing like them. It is... I don't want to say lazy, because I know that everyone who's working on this has put everything into it, but it comes across to a fan as as lazy when it, it's just it is just a guy in makeup. Whereas in Revenge of the Sith, they looked like aliens. So I do completely understand where the hate's coming from there, but I, I'm one of the Star Wars fans where it's like, if it's Star Wars, it's Star Wars, I'm gonna love it. Um, I'm not, I don't really care. I'm not like one of the, the die-hard people who's like, oh, it's it, it was different. It, it should look different. It's, it is what it is. You know, obviously the fifth brother as well looks completely different, but we've never seen him in live action, if I'm correct there. So that doesn't bother me as much because obviously in Rebels, he is a, obviously an alien, but he is a human in the live action representation. So... It's all right, because this is the first kind of live action we've seen of him, so I, I can kind of deal with that. Um, but yeah, just the Grand Inquisitor man, he just doesn't look the same. So I do get it, but I think as a Star Wars fan, you just need to overcome it. You just need to look past it and just enjoy it for what it is. Like, man, these people are fixing like the really dodgy, messed up like timeline. They've been given. They've been giving us some difficult stuff to work with, like the, the prequel trilogy was tough. These guys are doing their absolute best and I'm just thankful that we're getting new Star Wars. And I can overlook things like the Inquisitor looking a bit different, but I am so, so hyped for Kenobi. Um, I hope you guys are hyped too and I hope we can all get on the hype train together. So yeah, that is the first episode of The Crafty Jedi. I would really appreciate it if you would hit subscribe so we can come along for that journey together. Uh, I'm also on Instagram at the.crafty.jedi. So if you could follow me on there, that would be sick. Um, I really want to build up a little community, like an internet Star Wars craft beer community. Um, that's what I ideally want to do, so I think that would be awesome. So if you guys could really get involved in that, I would love you forever. So yeah. Um, thank you for watching my first video. I really appreciate it. I hope you stick along for the journey. I'm going to be doing loads of these. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. And I hope to see you in the next video.